Hi everyone, this is a video to show four examples how to simplify radical expressions. We're using these rules. These are the basic rules to simplify uh, right here. And I'm using these four examples. So you can go through the rules, but we're going to be using them all anyway. You need to know your perfect squares. Um, and I have them written down as well. So let's get started with the first example, which is that one. All right. So we have the square root of 24 minus the square root of 54. And the first thing you want to do is break up the square root of 24 with a perfect square. So you want to find a perfect square that divides 24, which is 4 right there. So we're going to divide this up as square root of 4 times the square root of 6 minus and we need a perfect square to divide um, uh, 54 by, and that's going to be 9. So we can do square root of 9 times the square root of 6. Now, simplifying this, the square root of 4 is 3, so you have the square root of 3 times the square root of 6. Um, oops, square root of 4 is not 3, it's 2. Square root of 6 minus the square root of 9 is 3, times the square root of 6. Then after that, these are like terms. This is like saying 2x minus 3x equals negative x, or negative 1x, where x would be equal to square root of 6. So all you have to do with this, let's bring it down, since they're the same, is we're going to write negative square root of 6, because that's what it equals. Okay, the next one is this one. We're going to use the distributive property. So when you distribute, you're going to do this. And you can multiply these two together. So since they're the same as square root sign, so this is going to be square root of 3 times the square root of 4. Let me just break it down a little bit further. Square root of 3 times the square root of 4 plus square root of 3 times square root of 6. So I'll just put a times as a dot. So square root of 3 times the square root of 4 is square root of 12 plus the square root of 18. Now we go back to our perfect squares. 4 divides 12. That's a perfect square. So I'm going to do square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And 9 divides 18. So that's going to be square root of 9 times the square root of 2. Square root of 4 is 2, so you have 2 square root of 3. And uh, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 2. You cannot add these, because this is like saying 2x plus 3y, like unlike terms. So your final answer is just that. The next one is this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to rationalize the denominator. That's part of the simplifying. So what we're going to do is put all this under one radical. This will be 5 times 2 divided by 3 times 5. Well, now the 5s can cancel, so we're left with the square root of 2 divided by 3, which could be written as square root of 2 divided by square root of 3. Now... Uh, you can't have a radical in the denominator, usually, because later on it's hard to simplify that way. So we want to multiply. If we multiply this by 1, it doesn't change it. We still get square root of 2 divided by square root of 3. But our 1 is going to be square root of 3 divided by square root of 3. Square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is 1. So now we're going to multiply across. So we're going to get square root of 2 times 3 divided by square root of 3 times 3. So that's going to be square root of 6 divided by square root of 9. And see what happens. You get square root of 6 over 3. Now I overly simplified this. Usually when you do this, this is really like 3 to the 1 half times 3 to the 1 half equals 3 to the 1 half plus 1 half, which is 3 
to the first power. Square root of x can be written as x to the one half. All right. And the last one, we're going to use the distributive property. So we're going to take our first term times 5 minus square root of 2 and use that operator, which is uh, addition, plus square root of 2 times 5 minus square root of 2. So that's the difference between FOIL and the distributive rule. So this is the distributive rule. Now, go ahead and distribute. We get 20 minus 4 square root of 2 plus, multiply these two, I'm going to put 5 in front, 5 square root of 2 minus uh, square root of 2 times square root of 2. So simplifying this, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2, like I said before, that's just going to be 2. It's square root of 2 squared, which just equals 2. So that just equals 2. All right, now I can add these. These are like terms. So I can add or subtract. Let me group this together. 20 minus 2 minus 4 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 2. So 20 minus 2 is 18. And I group these together. Um, 4 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 2 um, is going to be, it's going to be negative 4 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 2 is just plus square root of 2. It's just one of them. You don't want to put the 1 though, so it looks funny. All right, so that's your final answer because you can't add those. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.